So today we're going to look at changing uh, mass performance indexes or your thresholds on a whole bunch of devices. So um, why? Well, all devices don't have the same response time. If you have devices across a WAN that you're managing from a central location, or you've got devices um, spread out all over the world, or perhaps low latency links like 3G backup, frame relay, those kind of things, um, they're not going to have the same response time. So you don't want to get alarmed on those all the time. Uh, why do we a whole bunch of them at once? Because changing devices one by one just isn't fun. And uh, in general, as with all things network management based, the whole point is to work smarter, not harder. So let's take a look. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom view. So this is um, custom view device groups are, are some um, container objects that you can use to classify different devices that all fit together. So in this case we're going to create something called WAN routers. Uh, I don't have any routers, or enough at least to make this interesting, so we're going to I'm going to ask you guys to suspend disbelief, and we'll put some switches in here, but uh, in this case you could have put it into an upper level custom view, and then we can automatically add devices based on a view or um, on an IP segment. So again, we're going to go in and uh, just select the specific devices we want. So we'll select some switches here. There we go, we'll move them down, add selected devices, click OK. So now we have our, our container of objects, of, of devices that we are going to be able to use to apply this new um, threshold and alarm policy to. So we're going to go click Monitoring Settings. And over here on the right hand side we're going to switch to Instance List. So as opposed to looking at things by the device, we're going to look at the specific instance. So your query will now have changed. And we're going to go and say let's look at everything from the WAN router view. And the item name, in this case, we want to change the response time. Again, low latency links might have some uh, very different response times than what you would see in a LAN environment. Checkbox up the top to do a select all. Modify index. We're going to not use the global index settings. We're going to create just for this device group. So value 1, let's just say 500 milliseconds. And let's say perhaps it's uh, that's anything above 500 milliseconds is going to be a, a minor warning. And anything above 800 milliseconds is actually going to be a, uh, a major warning. So, and uh, let's say we have to fail this three times. And instead of the default five minutes, 300 seconds, let's go to 10 minutes, 600 seconds. And there we go. Succeeded. Everything's good. So now let's go and, and double check our work here and... We'll pick one, how about the, uh, the Juniper EX4200. Click Modify Index just to verify that this worked properly. It's always good to double check our work and not just assume things worked. So we're going to go in, and there we are. Everything's great. And that is how to change mass performance indexes and their thresholds um, on your devices. See you guys next time on the next IMC Management Tutorial.